Hello everyone, welcome to my talk. Today I'm gonna to talk about our work, searching encrypted data with size locked indices. My name is Ming Xu, and this is a collaboration with David Cash, Armin Namavari, and Thomas Ristenpart. So in this work, we focus on the problem called end-to-end -end encrypted keyword search. So in this problem, users outsource their documents to the cloud and they interact with the service via a web portal or mobile app with a limited client-side storage capacity, and users will apply end-to-end -end encryption with a local secret key before uploading their document to the service. End-to-end -end encryption poses challenges for the service to provide useful features such as keyword search, which is supposed to return relevant documents to the user's keyword query. And we first identify the target search features by surveying a bunch of popular cloud storage services such as Dropbox. So Dropbox support multi-keyword conjunctive queries and they return the, the top relevant results with pagination, which allows users either to click a page or scroll down for more results. Instead of returning the full document, they will return a preview, including the name, the type and time of the document. So we want to replicate such search features but with end-to-end -end encryption. We also target for a code start setting where the users will interact with the service with empty local state. In terms of update, we realize that uh, only the new document and new words are immediately effective in the search result, but not the deletion of words. So this is our threat model. We focus on the confidentiality of the query keyword and the documents. We want to protect them against the persistent active adversary who has a full transcript of the update and search history. We further assume the adversary with file injection capability, which allows him to adaptively inject documents of chosen keywords under the user secret key. This is a practical capability that has been explored in Previx work. Now let's see one direction towards the end-to-end -to -end encrypted keyword search problem, which is called Dynamic Searchable Symmetric Encryption or DSC. DSC can be summarized as three interfaces, setup, update, and search. For update, it supports both addition and deletion. And for search, it will return the document identifiers for all the documents containing the query keyword. In terms of security, DSC constructions usually comes with a leakage profile, which is proof to include all the information leaked from the uh, construction. And the common leak functions are include the result pattern, which is a set of updates on the same keyword as a query. Volume, which is the number of documents containing the query keyword. And query pattern, which is a set of queries on the same keyword. Leakage profile of previous DSC are vulnerable to various leakage abuse attacks and they provide limited search functionalities with no ranking or previewing. Since the introduction, there has been attacks exploiting the result pattern and partial patch with forward privacy to mitigate these attacks. And since that, there are more and more works exploiting different leakages of DSC and uh, defenses patching different combinations of these leakages. The race between defenses and attacks will be long lasting and more and more expensive cryptographic tools will be necessary to fully patch the SSC. So in our work, we take a different approach called download then search locally. Users construct a text search index, encrypt it, and upload it to the server. For search, the users will download the full encrypted index blob, decrypt it locally, and search for the keyword. As you can see, there is no result pattern, volume, or query pattern leakage at all. Moreover, users can embed sufficient information in the index to support ranking and previewing. In particular, they can embed an inverted index, which is a mapping from the keyword to a list of postings, each containing the doc document identifier and the number of occurrence of the keyword in the document. And also a forward index which is a mapping from the document identifier to the metadata of the document. So in our work, we develop previously under-treated technique, which is the download then search locally. And we identify attacks against the naive construction and give solutions with security proofs. We further 
propose new constructions for feature-rich scalable search on the end-to-end -end encrypted data, and we evaluate the performance with real-world prototype-based evaluation. Here is a naive construction of download then search locally. Users can take the standard indexing libraries such as Lucene and encrypt it with standard encryption libraries such as AES GCM, upload them to the server, and at search, they download the index decrypted and search. For update, a straightforward approach is the users download the entire index blob, decrypt it locally, and add the new data to the index, and then upload them to the server. For instance, to add a, a document with an existing word, such as bird, the index size will increase by the posting and one metadata length. And when adding a document with a new word to the index, the index size will increase by the posting and metadata length plus the word length. The index size will change differently depending on whether the word is new or not to the index. Such size difference can be exploited with file injection. So here is a simple attack. The victim will index their sensitive data, the SSN, to the index with Lucene. And then the server will one by one inject candidate SSN to the index and mirror the index size increase after each injection. Here shows the index size increase after each candidate injection. And the, the candidate SSN equal to the victim SSN will give the smallest index size increase. This shows the standard search index encrypted using standard encryption will leak sensitive information from the index size. And file injection is powerful enough to recover the data from the leakage. To fix the size leakage, we propose a definition called size locking. And it makes the length of the index a function of only the information we are willing to leak. In particular, in this work, we are willing to leak the total number of postings in the index and the total number of documents in the index, but not the total number of indexed keywords. So the, the Lucene plus AES GCM construction, its size depends on the total number of postings, total number of documents, and the total number of keywords. And in the paper, we propose our size locked construction, which will have size as a function of the total number of postings and the total number of documents. Now we have a secure construction for download then search locally. So how about its performance? For the full Aaron dataset, the full index size will get as large as 228 megabytes. And it means we need to download such large amount of data for every search. And out of the 228 megabytes of data, 212 megabytes of them is for the inverted index. Since we want to support top relevant search, can we reduce the cost to the necessary top relevant postings only? The answer is yes. And we'll achieve this with a secure vertical index partitioning. The high level idea is that we will partition the index into blobs by relevance of the postings to the index keywords. And for a search, we only download the first partition to return the top relevant result. For update, we have a secure way to add new postings to the partition and kick less relevant ones to the subsequent partitions. And in terms of leakage, there is no result pattern volume or query pattern leakage introduced. Another way to reduce the download cost is to horizontally partition the index keywords together with their postings into P partitions. For a single keyword query, we only need to download one out of the P partitions. In terms of security, for search, it leaks the partition access pattern, which will be the same for words in the same partition. The horizontal partitioning can be combined with the vertical partitioning for more efficiency. So now let's see some results on how the different constructions perform. We evaluate their performance using the error dataset with different scale, the 10% error, 50% error, and the 100% error. Roughly, that means the percentage of documents of error dataset used in each uh, sample. And we evaluate the basic size locked download and search locally construction called full, and the vertical partitioned uh, uh, construction, B part, and the vertical and horizontally partitioned uh, construction with P horizontal partitions called VH part P. We also compare against the baseline DSSE construction called counter DSSE. And this construction uses per keyword counter to achieve the forward privacy 
And in our setting, uh, this uh, per word counter needs to be uh, outsourced to the server and download when necessary. So we focus on the search performance and we evaluate with a KWEC2 uh, client and uh, Azure Redis cache as a storage server. The network bandwidth is about 100 megabits per second and the run chip latency is about 13 milliseconds. We evaluate the performance with top 10 uh, searches and uh, averaged over 30 different keywords from NRAN. Let's first see the bandwidth cost. For the 100% uh, NRAN, the full construction is download 228 megabytes. And with vertical partitioning alone to reduce the download cost to 25 megabytes. And with 10 extra horizontal partitions, it reduced the cost to 7.5 megabytes. So for counter DSSE, because it needs to download the per word counters and it downloads all the matched results, the average bandwidth cost is comparable to that of VH per turn. For the search latency, full construction needs 12.8 seconds on average for 100% error. Uh, VH part needs uh, 2.5 seconds for query. And the VH part turn only needs uh, less than half second. And if we aim for sub-second, end-to-end search latency. Turns out that we can use the uh, vertical partitioning alone for 10% error, which will give us practical performance and uh, better security than VH pattern. And for counter DSSE, because of the extra uh, download and uh, processing cost, its search latency is worse than the partitioned uh, construction. In the paper, we show more, much more details on how we handle updates how we progressively transition based on the number of postings. And we have more evaluation results and we provide uh, formal security proofs and the leakage abuse analysis of our leakage. Uh, thank you, that's all about my talk.